wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Today is terrific Tuesday. Wonderful time. Every Tuesday we gather together, my wife and I, for this thing called... This thing called marriage. Yes, we believe that marriage is good. Marriage works. And if only... You work it. Correct. So you're welcome, <laughs> all of you where you're watching us from. Let us know where you're watching us from. Very true. We want to know... Uh, and by the way, even before we start, we'd like to know how this program has blessed you, has changed your marriage, has changed your life. So if you're with your partner, mm -hmm. um, today is Singles Edition. Singles Edition. Mm -hmm. All the so, singles in the house begin to collect your friends, begin to collect your dating partners. Yes, and free enemies. <laughs> and so you're really much welcome today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as you can see, it is Sower TV here. Mm -hmm. So I want you to make sure, please, please tell somebody to tell somebody, tell somebody mm -hmm. to join in. Today is question and answer. Yes. Papa and I have been getting a lot of questions on singles and also married. So we decided, how about we do a compilation of those questions? But we'd like to know how, you know, testimonies encourage pastors, right? Yeah. Yeah? Testimonies are, you know, lift the spirit of the, of the man of God. And this will be a testimony. Maybe someone's marriage has, has been made, okay, has been sweetened. Mm -hmm. You know, someone's uh, relationship, uh, crooked walk has been straightened, yeah? <laughs> Maybe someone's dating ways have been perfected or something. So we'd like to know how this thing called marriage has been a blessing to you since the time we began yes. in April, in the midst of COVID-19. Good. Yeah. So um, today, as we said, is a, is a question and answer. Mm -hmm. And today our question, we have several questions here. That we did a compilation of. Yes. And some so, of them were repetitions. Yeah. Some of them were, you know, not making a lot of quite sense, but we we put them all together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I believe that we'll be able to answer you yes. and uh, we'll give you a direction one way by the grace of God or the other. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody saying much blessed ready for the topic that and mom. Mko, wow. Pastor Destiny Ruiru. God wow. bless you Pastor Destiny. God bless you. You are lifted. Amen. All right. Um, so today we our our topic today is question and answer for the singles. For the singles, mm -hmm. that does not mean the married cannot send their questions. Yeah, you can you can do that. But today, mm -hmm. tonight rather, we are going to answer some questions and we want us to go straight yeah. to some of them because some of them we'll have to discuss them a bit. Yeah. But wherever, whatever question you have, send it in. Yes. Yes. Send it in. and just to you feel like uh, it's not it's not me asking. Say I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Question number one. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. Mm. Question okay. number one. <laughs> Mom and dad, I feel angry and disappointed with God for having not given me a spouse. Mm -hmm. Let me, okay. Uh, please help me pray. Mom and dad, I feel angry mm -hmm. and disappointed at God, mm -hmm. with God for having not given me a spouse. Mm -hmm. let, me, let, me, let me first bring it this way. Mm -hmm. There are people who, from the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. their ambition, desire, prayer, wish, sow, seed sowing, yeah. it was that I will get married. It was directed there. Towards marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, towards marriage. And they knew by December, yeah. I will be with my husband. Mm -hmm. now by faith. By faith. Or by time. relationship, whichever way. So by now, mm -hmm. uh, nobody has come. Mm -hmm. And they feel really, they're disappointed. Yeah. And they sowed their seed. Right. So they did everything. Mm -hmm. The man of God was prophesying, you will marry this year. And you will. amen. And the men were hot. <laughs> and nice is December right. and no husband. Yeah. First, it can mm -hmm. be frustrating. Someone tends to feel frustrated. Yeah, somebody yes. can feel disappointed. like, oh, I'm disappointed. Mm -hmm. So uh, this one is saying, I'm hungry and feeling disappointed with God. Mm -hmm. What is your take? It's okay to be angry. It's but, okay to okay. feel disappointed. But redirect your anger and your disappointment away from God, okay? Mm -hmm. I keep on telling my daughters many a times as I'm ministering that um, anything good in your life, give credit to God. Anything that has not happened the way you expect it or in accordance with the word of God, do not question God, mm -hmm. okay? The will of God and his perfect <coughs> will according to his word is that everything he has promised should come to pass in your life. Yes. So what I usually advise my daughters is that go back to the word of God. What is it that you did not do? Or what is it that you need to do more? 
All right? Where did you miss it? Where did you miss it? At the end of the day, I discourage a hundred and one. If you're angry at God, who will you run to? The devil. Mm -hmm. You will run at the devil because, you know, is the only other option. <laughs> and the wrong option. True. Because there's nothing that comes from the devil that is free. Good. Not one. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, for me, let me advise my dear sister that um, redirect your anger somewhere else. It can be disappointing, yes. It can be, you know, you can have that anger of, I was so hopeful, my faith has been trampled on and all that. But redirect your anger somewhere else. God has nothing to do with your anger. God has nothing to do with you not getting married. Matter of fact, his will, perfect will according to his word, mm -hmm. is that none shall lack a mate. Good. Okay? Yeah. So that, that I think, uh, continue doing what you have been doing in faith. It will work. And then also mm -hmm. go back to your doing your mathematics and calculations. See where probably you could have missed it or where you may have gone wrong. Another thing mm -hmm. is that um, we, we don't put God in our timing. Yes. We, we, we walk in God's timing. Mm -hmm. They wanted Lazarus to be raised before he, uh, to be healed. Yeah. God wanted to raise Lazarus. Mm -hmm. One thing that I've come to realize with people, they want God to do it like yesterday. Like how they want And it. God knows the end from the beginning. Very true. So God knows the way you're doing this, it cannot go that way. Mm -hmm. The only way it can go is this way. Yeah. If I give your husband now, you will not come to church again. Yeah. If I give your husband now, you will not um, pray again. Mm -hmm. So let me delay him a bit. Yeah. Delay is not denial. Right. Delay is Say it not again. denial. When there's delay, mm -hmm. God is making it. Every set, uh, setback is a setup for a comeback. Right. Any setback is a setup for a comeback. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, give it time. Yeah. You're still in God's will. Mm -hmm. And God is never too early or too late. Right. He's always on time. on time. So mm -hmm. don't give up. Mm -hmm. Something's going to happen. Yeah. Don't be angry at God. Mm -hmm. if, God has, if God has not done it, mm -hmm. the devil won't do it. Right. And if the devil does it for you, you must pay. You will cry with one eye yeah. and tears will not come out. Yeah. Yes. And it's the, the things of the devil mm -hmm. for sure are not one is free. You will pay. You must pay. So quickly as we're doing this also send in your questions. Send in your questions, mm -hmm. send in your concern. Mm -hmm. so what do you feel uh, as a single person? Yeah. If you have a question you'd like us to handle mm -hmm. tonight. And then we'll answer it for you. Many people ask uh questions. Somebody's sending one here. Mm -hmm. Uh let me see this one. Uh okay. We'll try to go into them via the ones we have uh, noted down yes. and also the ones you're sending in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, somebody is saying, hi, Papa and Mama, looking good and wish you a Merry Christmas too. Mm -hmm. I'm Josephine from Embakasi. I really like Sowa TV. God bless it you. It has been such a blessing in my life I love ever it. since I connected with this grace. Amen. I give glory and honor back to God for mm -hmm. the deliverance I got from the man of God. Mm -hmm. I have seen some changes so far now you're welcome god again. bless you and bless glory you, to god amen wonderful all right uh -huh. question number two question number two mom and dad could my could my past mistakes mm -hmm. and choices mm -hmm. be haunting my state of being single today repeat again you say mom and dad uh -huh. could my past mistakes and choices and choices uh -huh. be haunting my my haunting, haunting uh -huh. my what my state of being single today. In other words, mm -hmm. that I'm single because of my past. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? I think yes. And also no. Okay. Okay. Um, what I believe is uh, some mistakes, okay, could have consequences. That's now I'm answering for yes, eh? Okay? Yes. That eye you're giving me, I don't understand Leave it. Leave my eye alone. <laughs> Leave my eye. I know that eye. Leave my eye. <laughs> okay. Let me leave your eye because even eye. it is in your on your head. Yes, it's my eye. <laughs> yeah. So, but what what I believe, okay, yes and no, okay, could the past mistakes that they have committed be haunting their state of being single? Yes. How? Some mistakes people did, like for example, very marriageable partner came your way. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that particular time, you were very busy uh, slaying. slaying and looking at him and sizing him from slaying top to bottom. Fly. Okay? And at that particular time, could be that was the gift God was bringing your way as a husband 
and then at that particular time yeah at that particular time okay that probably at 25 okay very yeah. marriageable man that came ame parara um, at that particular time eh, yeah they sized that young man and looked as if he doesn't have destiny yes and that time maybe alikuwa you know that girl was working in a very nice place getting 10000 and that time it was the you know the in thing she was looking as if she has it all yes. and this guy has nothing and so she made the wrong choice of not accepting this young man at that time. by sizing him on how he looked mm -hmm, at that particular mm -hmm, time. Mm -hmm. Akamuacha. Mm -hmm. Sasa sai akotumia katungina hapo tumesonga and there is no one even saying hello. That kind of mistake. And probably your pastor told you that this guy is your husband, this guy is marriageable. You know, he's, he has a vision. His destiny tomorrow will be very bright. Give it a try. You didn't listen. Okay, and the guy maybe begged you for marriage and everything, and you didn't hey. listen. Now you're at that hey. age, and you cannot keep forgetting. You, you always see his picture appearing. Could it be he was? And then you, you meet him 10 years later. 10 years later, I know of such kind of a story. A lady who is single till now, in her 40s, okay, not saying that she doesn't have hope. The man who was uh, trying her at that particular time when she was in her 20s, the man is married, doing very well and got married to a lady called like he, her, the same name like if it is Julie. The man he was so in love with that lady, went and looked for a lady by that name, married her, and now they have three kids. The firstborns were twins and they are in, in, in another baby. You see, at the end of the day, and she's in her 40s right now, and she's single. Hey. Okay? Some of those mistakes can come back to haunt you, and really, you can see this guy, Ukweli, I could have been the wife. I could but have been the time, husband. But at that time, it didn't let, look as if it had hope. Let me ask. Hmm? Let me ask something before before we go far. This is very interesting. So we should what what should happen? Mm -hmm. at, that, at this particular moment, mm -hmm. you don't feel this man. Yeah. You don't feel him completely. Yes, and the man is interested. Yeah. So what should you do? Because I, there's I, that fear. Yeah. I might miss my person. Mm -hmm. I believe I'm talking to believers. All right. Yes. One of the things you should do is when you get someone who is telling you, I think I like you and uh, I want to settle with you down for marriage. The first thing, before even you, you say yes or no, the first thing should be, can we go see my pastor? Mm. Okay? For blessing and for prayer. Number one, that should be the first move that you make. Give this relationship your best shot. Okay? Be very positive on it. Don't size out someone immediately when you see them. Give it a try. If three months down the line you still have the same feeling that this guy does not appeal at all, leave him. This lady is not moving anything in you. Leave him. But what I usually tell people, don't just wipe out someone on fire. Don't be just Yeah, proud. don't be mm -hmm. too quick. Eh? You know, kutoa mtu ile kumtoa tu. You never know if you give it a try, how far it could go. And then you look at this person ten years down the line and regret your choice. Jesus. Okay, the choice that you did not make and the choice that you made for not picking him or picking her. All right? So at the end of the day is, first of all, go to your pastor. If it is in sounds of, of abundance, you're in a better position. We have a man of God who is, has a prophetic eye. We'll tell you this one is a time waster. This one is good. Give it a try. Ten years down the line, this man will be something. At the end of the day, go to your pastor, get the release, get the blessing to start what? Start dating. But just don't wipe off this guy. Don't wipe off this lady. Because at the end of the day, they have come with the right packaging. One, mm -hmm. born again, yes. God-fearing, they love church, they are serving God, okay? And they are willing to marry you. What, what else are we looking for as ladies? Uh, 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 let me see something. Hmm? Some, this is what I would tell ladies. Ni mufupi, ni mweusi, ni mukonda, ni munono, ni kanogo, ni kanono. Ni mujaluo. Ni mujaluo, ni mukisi. What kind of, of all these are we looking for? Mm? Yeah. Let, let me say this. Let me say this to beautiful ladies. Right. Don't, you can't get everything. In one person. No, even you are not perfect. Even you, you are not everything. You have, you are, you are, you are, you are, there are ladies who are very intelligent, but very plump. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> I don't like when you go there. Leave people's <laughs> bodies. No. <laughs> I don't like when you go there. I have no it. issue. I'm just giving an example. Mm. So you find you cannot be a lady mm -hmm. who wants a perfect man. The question is, are you perfect yourself? You cannot be. No one needs. Look at your nose. Uh -huh. Look at your toes. Mm. Are you perfect? Mm. Oguelos. 
Are they called Oguelos? <laughs> they are called Oguelos, yes. Uh, so what happens is, mm. you cannot say I want a man who's tall, mm. dark, handsome, And you want pocket, it all in one person. Yeah. It cannot happen. Actually. With good character. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. Some things are molded. When the moment you say you want a man who is perfect, right? Anatoka wapi? Anatoka wapi? We ukura wili mujenga wako. Perfect. Jenga wako. Tengeneza wako. We tukusumbu wako. And 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 the men you the men that are there, even the women who are there. Yeah. There's a part that part of creation that God has given us mm -hmm. to be able to create. Yeah. To make. To make. Yeah. You, you meet a man. And then after some time, you make that person. Yes. You find they didn't know how to dress. You, mm -hmm. you, 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 you make something there. Mm, yeah. They didn't know how to talk well. You, you, you train them a bit. Mm -hmm. you, you, they didn't have swag. You put a little. We have that, that capacity. Mm. So you cannot say, I want, take him to Mope. Take him to Mfupi. Take him to... To V2. You cannot say, I want to take him to Mfupi. No, I want to take him to Mfupi. I was asking ladies today, today, today in the appointment. Yeah. Everyone wants a tall man. <laughs> tall short, like an answer. Yeah. Who the wants short the short ones. Short brown and short. Marry you. <laughs> short brown and poor. And, and, and uh, <laughs> blessed here. <laughs> So, could, can, could, is it possible that your past mistakes could be haunting you? Yeah. Yes. And me, I, 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 I didn't answer on the no part. The yes part. Yeah. Yes, me, I think it's possible. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So you, you think it's yes? Yeah. A and for me, also, also no. Also powers, mistakes of the era of the past. Yes. Right. Sindio? Yeah. Some of the things that maybe you did, okay? Mm -hmm. Extra, extra, not extra, little uh, sex Amen. before marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of those things also could. What else can haunt? Yeah. Uh, sex before marriage can also haunt. Um, evil covenant, soul mm -hmm. ties. Soul ties. Yes. Such could, kind. Yeah. Eh? We'll discuss them one day. But those are some of the things that could come now to haunt. Mm. Again, I've said I would say no. No, in which sense? In the sense of um, when 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 you repent. God forgives you, mm -hmm. and you should walk as a new man, new creation yeah, from there onwards. Yes, so yes, yes. it is yes and no. Mm -hmm. So for me, for wisdom's sake, eh, handle both sides. Yes. Just in case that they could be haunting you, sit down with your book and pen and paper. Uh, you know, do an evaluation in your own life, and then also believe God for you know forgiveness and mercy and and, and all and that. And God will restore you. And God will restore. Very you. important. Somebody saying a uh, very interesting topic, Mom and Dad. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Can't live where I'm sitting. I'm seated because I feel good seeing you, Jacqueline Destiny, watching from Ruiru. God bless you. God bless you so mm -hmm. much. All right. Yeah. Um, there are things that can make you really um, to miss your person. And, and I just feel. Let me emphasize here. Mm -hmm. Ladies, you can easily miss your man. Can you see men? Can easily miss Men are her. always willing by her. You know what, what, what the biggest problem with, with men in Igani? Uh, men think that they have all the choices they have. It's true. Niki achawu intapata mungine. You know that caprite? No. Mm. But you see now, you, you see... To be the lion in the jungle, you can choose then drop. Man is, a man is the one to pursue. Mm. Okay? Which is true. Mm. He can, he can, he can mess he can, it up you, there. You can say no, and he gets another one. Mm -hmm. But the question is this: um, statistics say that men are few. Men are fewer. Ata ata nini census. Now men are few. And, too, and the one who na, na million moja even. Million imam. Million moja. Mm. Now you imagine two million on our mm. bona. Mungu akona ringa. Now one like dogo akona ma ona 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 Mama, you keep at Rakushi Kashikilia. Quam up. Because most of, <laughs> most of the people, uh, most of the people, what happens is you find you, you can really play. You mm. can really play hard to get. Play hard to get. Mm. You know, you feel you're still sweet and you're still young and you're still slaying, mm -hmm. not knowing time is going. Right. And then in between, because of now you want to settle, you make some two mistakes and mm -hmm. bam, baby is there. Mm -hmm. So nobody else wants, wants somebody who's come with a pack, uh, with a baggage. Mm -hmm. So what happens? When somebody comes and they've been waiting, yeah. go ahead. Right. Just okay, let's, I tell them, go with an open spirit. Yeah. You are not 100%. Uh, 100%. Mm -hmm. So don't look for somebody who's 100 percent Look for somebody who fears God. Yeah. Who God can make. Who is serving God? Thank who you. has a pastor? Good. You know, someone who has the right package in Kwanzaa, then go in. Then go in. Try it out. 
If it works, the better. Okay? Let's not say the other part. Question number three. Oh, somebody is asking for marriage. Okay. If I take it's the man okay, to my, like... my pastor, though, though I don't feel him, three months down the line, I meet one that I feel. Is it okay to also take the new catch back to the pastor and date both of them simultaneously? simultaneously. I don't blame you for that, that question. How can they do two men at the same time as I decide? No, you can't do that. You cannot date two men. That's not... That's, that's playing. That's playing. That's, that's a question from take, Facebook? Yeah, you cannot mm. do that. You cannot take the same person. Jackie, no. If, if, I, if I take the man to the pastor... You don't take a man to your pastor you don't like. You don't want. Mm -hmm. You take a man to a pastor whom you feel like you want to start something with. Mm. Someone you don't feel like you don't take to your pastor. Mm. Yes. And today is Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday. We enjoy Tuesday because it's the time we sit on these warm seats mm -hmm. and discuss on this thing called this thing called marriage we strongly believe that marriage is good marriage works if only if only you work it and god bless you so today we are helping you to work it yeah and today it's singles edition singles edition and we are on QA, question mm -hmm. and answer. Right. So we're answering some questions. We just try and get the match we can uh -huh. by the grace of God because time also is running. Mm -hmm. um, let me just throw this at you. Mm -hmm. Praise God, man of God. I'm following you now. My question is, mm -hmm. is this marriage, um, I'm married, I think, married for 14 years yeah. and, I, I, and I'm ready to lose my marriage after so many battles. Since okay. I got married, I've, I've never known any happiness in this marriage. Mm -hmm. Fine. This is this thing my husband removed his ring mm -hmm. i mean we did a wedding and yeah. he told me that love i kaangi mm. mm. but kwa moyo okay second this second money mm. doesn't uh, uh, second this money is okay doesn't ask me for sex i'm always on the one on the top uh? mm -hmm. i'm always, always the one I'm always the one on top of the talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'll try and paraphrase it. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, he talks to me when he wishes kindly advice. Mm -hmm. One, he said that uh, the husband removed the ring. Okay. She has never known peace in the marriage. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, okay. He's saying uh, he wants to know the husband removed the ring as my, uh, my love does not stay on the ring. Mm -hmm. I wonder who taught him that. Mm -hmm. And two, he's saying that uh, he, he, he does not ask for sex. Mm -hmm. And number two, what kind of man does not ask for sex if you're married? Mm -hmm. I'll come to back that later. Mm -hmm. And number three, if he's talking, she's the one who initiates the talk. Okay. What is your take in a, in a, in, in a few? Because okay. it's not married. Married edition. The, yeah. Thank you, my sister, for asking that question. And uh, God will intervene in your marriage, one. Number two... Um, I wouldn't advise her to be very quick to walk out on, on her marriage, mm -hmm. more so especially because it was a white wedding, okay? They did it in church, mm -hmm. all right? Have you looked for help? Help from your pastors, help from your elders, okay? Mm -hmm. Help from your parents. Is it something that you've brought before people and complained of his behavior or the things that he's doing? Don't be quick, too, too quick to walk out of your marriage because at the end of the day, it's not meant to be rosy. Yes. It's not meant to be good all the way. All, all the way. There, there are going to be such kind of bumps, which by the grace of God, if you overcome and manage to, you know, to, you know, to, to grow into this thing together, mm -hmm. out of that, those kind of challenges, God will do what? God will make you people more stronger and more what? More lovable. Mm -hmm. All right? So for me, my advice is this. Seek for help. Seek for counsel. If you can be able to get assistance in any way or the other, your husband definitely needs to be, to be spoken to. One, if he's not uh, asking for sex, that means where is he getting sex? He's getting somewhere. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Where is he, is he getting sex from? And uh, according to the way my husband usually says here yeah, to men, he usually says that uh, you know, the tank is usually full in like four days. So where is he offloading his own thing? <laughs> Number two, if it is communication, he's the head of that house. He should be the one initiating direction, initiating, a, you know, counsel and, and giving direction in whichever way possible. Three, he has removed the ring and saying that love does not stay on the ring. That is a person who is slowly detaching from the commitment of that marriage. That ring is a seal and, and is a proof 
that is um, is, uh, is someone's who someone's husband number two the, it, it is a seal of the covenant that both of you made on the altar so for him to remove he's actually breaking that covenant all right Me, my so by the end of the day that marriage needs counsel it needs direction it needs prayer if you can be able to come to sound of a banner church we'll be able to help you and stand with you in the best way possible good number number three number three mm -hmm. you can send your questions on uh on our facebook page you can send your questions on our 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 our, our church line zero seven two seven yeah four three eight seven two eight or zero seven zero five eight nine nine six zero eight yeah and we are on this thing called marriage and we're discussing question and answers Some on the, the singles edition on the singles edition mm -hmm. on this thing called marriage the singles editions tonight mm -hmm. question number three is how um how how active should i be mm -hmm. in my quest <laughs> to search for a marriageable, uh, marriageable partner uh -huh. or should i leave it up to god uh -huh. How Many active people ask should that I question. be uh -huh. in my quest uh -huh. to search for a marriageable partner uh -huh. or should I leave it up to God? Uh -huh. That one I ask you. For me, uh -huh. God does not give wives uh -huh. or husbands. Yeah. No. They either find. So you must go and look. So you're answering for the men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men, go and look. Uh -huh. Women, be available. Yeah. What Set do I mean? yourself Set up. Set yourself, eh? Hey. Mm -hmm. sit, sit at an angle that mm -hmm. you can be, you can, somebody can pick up. Uh -huh. There's a way you can do it. For example, let hey. me give an example. Mm. You will find, like, a church girl, mm -hmm. a Christian lady. Mm -hmm. She leaves home in the morning, yeah. goes to the office. Mm -hmm. From office to church for evening service. Mm -hmm. Evening service home. Mm. That is Monday to Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's say Monday, Tuesday, there's no service. Mm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Son of Banners, we have a service. Mm. Fri Friday, fr Saturday, we don't have she's service. busy in her, in her house, mm -hmm. doing house chores. And then Sunday, she's in church the whole day. Mm -hmm. The question is this, where will you give this man? In church, I believe it. And men in church are, I don't know what's wrong with men in church. Mm -hmm. Men in church are not really pursuing wives. I got one from church. At, 14 at, years ago. Imagine. Mm -hmm. That time men were looking for wives. Mm, eh? Mm. Funny what has changed. Many things have changed. Yeah, for me, I believe it. Most it, men it come is, to church and they close their eyes as they're praying. Yeah. And Bible says, do not Bible say, watch and pray. Mm. Then they're not watching, they're just praying. Yeah. Because most men were coming to church, she does not more letter. She will be B. So are you saying the men who have money are out in the world? Not really. Hey. God has everybody. Yes. But what I say is this you need to have a life. <laughs> You need to have a, like on Saturday there's Able nothing to pay your life. On Saturday there's mm. nothing you're doing. Mm. Do your house chores early. Go somewhere. Don't don't you have a wedding? Yeah, go for weddings. Go mm -hmm. for parties. Go for birthday. Which parties? Somebody has invited your friend has a birthday party. Yeah. Go. Don't it, refuse. Don't refuse. Don't be too busy. Friends are meeting somewhere in the afternoon mm. for coffee. Girl time. Mm -hmm. Go. Don't say, I, yeah. I know I want to rest. Mm -hmm. Go and have fun. Yeah. In that, mm -hmm. you have cousins. Yeah. Use it. Cousins have friends. Mm. That's how some people have mingle. Mingle. Uh -huh. You can uh, also, let me say something. Mm. Church girls can be boring. Apana. It's true. Mm -mm. It's true. Like, for example, Girls in church should have a group, mm -hmm. both men, single men and single women, yeah. where they mingle, mm -hmm. not for relationship yeah. per se, mm -hmm. but for for just having fun, union. You know, mm. don't don't just stay. You're mm. just in church, very serious, gloomy, very hard faced. You know. <laughs> Usha kwa mama na wasi mama. Wewe bango zingine. Majukumu. Eh, majukumu. Majukumu. Uko na ngozi zingine za kama za kwa za kufagia ni barabara. Eh. You you you're not interested. Eh. You know? Yeah. What needs to happen is have, have another life. Mhm. Mm Aside from the norm. I know I don't mean mm -hmm. secular life. Right. No. I mean <clears throat> enjoy life. Mhm. Mm Go out. Yeah. And sometimes nobody should take you out for dinner. Mm -hmm. Take yourself. Take yourself. Go where people are. Mm. If you go where they are, you'll meet your boys there. Right. Go to the fields of boys. Mm -hmm. Where are boys? Mm -hmm. 
you know where you'll meet people. Mm. You know where you'll meet people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I agree with that. I take it you've 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 covered it roundly. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, number four. Question number four. Question number four. Mm -hmm. Dad and mom, after all I have I have had, after all I have, okay, thank God for one writing. Ha, Dad and mom, after all I have had, mm -hmm. your mentorship on being single and staying, si staying pure, mm -hmm. I still find myself falling in sexual sin. Mm -hmm. What else do I need to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. What else? This is a lady saying, I, I feel mm. I'm still... Um, Falling into sexual sin. Yes. After all, I've, uh, after all she has had us on uh, uh, talking about singles and, and purity. And purity. Yeah. You need deliverance. Kabisa. It could be a spirit. That's my answer. You need, a, you need deliverance. Yeah, because I don't think it, it should be a struggle for you to, to follow counsel if at all you know what it has in store for you for tomorrow. It's something that you should do with a lot of gladness. For example... A single lady knows that she should, you know, she was before she had counsel or before she got direction, she realized that um, she was in too much sexual sin. Now she's had papa and mama like this one. She has had papa and mama and now she knows what to do. She knows she's what still to falling. do and she's still falling. Maybe she needs deliverance from that kind of lifestyle that is still binding her. Mm -hmm. It's simple and clear. She just needs to come confess, say, I'm struggling with this thing. I have heard you. I know it's wrong. I know it is closing my marital doors. It is closing my doors of in life and everything. And I need you to help me in prayer. Help me pray. Mm -hmm. Then at home, deliverance after, after that, that thing will, will leave. That spirit of sex will, will leave. And then also, mm -hmm. what makes you fall into sin? Your predisposition. One, you might find yourself, yeah. what are you watching? Uh -huh. What are you reading? Yeah. Who are you around? Yeah. What are company. you talking about? Mm -hmm. Even with men, all you talk about is sex. You yeah. With your friend, all you talk about is sex. Yeah. You will fall into sexual sin. Mm -hmm. Um. What are you watching? Yeah. There are, nowadays, people are watching a lot of funny things on their phone. Right. You know, a, lo a, lo a lot of pornography. Mm -hmm. it, it will arouse you. Yeah. So um, you need to be careful with your company. Mm -hmm. Um. You can't be visiting a boyfriend and going for a sleepover. Mm. You would do it. In a single room. Yeah, on that nose, like a blanket katikati. Mm. You will not know how you cross River Niger. Mm. You will just cross. <laughs> so, what you just need to do mm -hmm. is you just need to keep off anything that is making you do that. Mm. If it's friends, the kind of things you watch, the places that you go, mm -hmm. and then come for deliverance. Yeah, anything predisposing, pre making you, putting you in a place whereby that uh, you, you, you can easily fall into sexual sin. You need once we you know, avoid it avoid completely. Avoid it completely. Yeah, put yourself in a place whereby you're off that, off that road. Completely. Completely. Then seek prayer. Because also sex becomes an addiction at some point. It's a spirit. Yeah, it becomes, you can't stay without, especially yeah. if you're, you, you are used to doing it. Mm -hmm. You get to a point whereby, <laughs> mm -hmm. you get to a point whereby, you know, the body is demanding. So... The, uh, there are ways also you discipline it by fasting and prayer. Y uh, yes. And also get deliverance. You need to be prayed over. Very important. Come, confess, say what you're struggling with, and then you'll get help. All right. Today is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Terrific Tuesday. Yes, yes. We are on this thing called... This thing called marriage. Marriage. We believe that marriage is good. Marriage works. If only. If only you work and it. And today it is singles, singles edition. Singles edition. If you're on our Facebook page, mm -hmm. quickly like, love, and... Like, love, and share. And also... Host a watch party. And we believe you're going to be blessed. Yes. If you're watching us on Sower TV, mm -hmm. let us get your feedback, your comment, and your... Uh, your 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 advice or your mm -hmm. question. Yeah, yeah. We are on question and answer today. Mm -hmm. Number five. I'm a Christian lady mm -hmm. struggling with my salvation. Yeah. The things of the world seems quite appealing, yet I keep on getting convicted after doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Please, how did you did you dad and mom stand in your days of youth? That's how we are to shikanisha. We are to cozy. Yeah, but you know, where else will she learn? Probably our tips will work for her. I will tell you, I don't know about her, mm -hmm. but I will tell you mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, can go muyawa. Mine was, <laughs> I got lost in God. Yeah. I just gave everything to God. Yeah. I was addicted to church, 
prayer word. Totally sold out. Totally. Uh -huh. I didn't have any word. Other life. No. Mm. My life was church in the morning, church in the afternoon, mm -hmm. church in the night. Yeah. I was praying in the morning, in the afternoon, mm -hmm. in the night. When I go to my house, I'm going to sleep. When I wake up, I'm going to church. Mm. I, I gave myself fully. I was going for evangelism. I was mm. going for crusades. Mm. I was going for missions. Yeah. So I didn't have time mm. for, to, to have a worldly time. Yeah. The only time I would say um, was a bit, um, a bit, a bit. Mm -hmm. And how I overcame it is, was when I met this beautiful jewel. When I met her, we had to date. Mm -hmm. So at some point, I had to at least pull down a little of my spirituality. Mm -hmm. But still, we made. I made sure my work with God was not tampered with. Yeah. Nothing changed. Mm, nothing changed. Like yeah. we did. We never went for a movie. Mm, guy, yeah, mm. Kukua Nado. For I didn't say anything. Did you hear that? <laughs> I didn't say Nado. It's the same. Where where atu kuwa. That's not fair. You <laughs> <Me laughs> had money. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Listen. We are going for a short break. Papa when is we... having feelings wait, today. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not broke. We are going for a short break. Not now. Wait, <laughs> wait. This one will have to set us off camera. We are going for a short break. We'll be right back in one second. God bless you. <laughs> Papa, Papa's way, he has, he has said the way he was able to handle the, you know, the, you know, the deception of the world, okay? Especially yeah. when you're single. Like now, that deception, I think, has become too much. Mm -hmm. The way girls are dressing, where is it you are increased to? Nanani, you know, nani wa dunia. One day, sister is in church. The other day, when there is a party somewhere, ukimona vila meva, you wonder this one, is he of God, is she of God? or not so that 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 kind of deception of the world i think has become too much mm -hmm. and these are the days whereby people need to go back to your ways the ways of being soaked completely so, in soaked god because yeah. that's the only way out that was the only, yeah that's even that, that this is now what will work now the things the devil has predisposed so many things outside until the things of you know the world look as though they are more appealing than the things of of God. Yeah. But for how, for me, I went through it. Um, one, for me, God aliminyakua, araka araka. Okay? My youth. Well, as you know, minyakua, because minyakuliwa. Eh, yeah, well, Jesus. See, you, I've let you speak your side. Okay. Let me speak mine. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine. <laughs> Come, let's go, go. <laughs> So, uh, as in, uh, for me, God came in very quickly. Can you just imagine how mom's life was hey, yeah. before she got saved? Hey. I wish somebody can just guess. Today, okay, fine, continue. You see the way the way I am at being attacked on this show. It is happening. I don't know how. So now, for me, when I finished my high school, immediately I got born again. I wasn't me. I nearly got Leo. See you, Kesho. Iyamca kule kukona function. Ndio niko uko yoskuwa. Kuto ni mkatoli. Kesho kuto mi ni iyamca na dance uko kwa father. Nikifanya. So those things Papa usually says. <laughs> I was, uh, uh, those people, girls that dance as their father is entering. <laughs> God forgive me. But immediately after high school, I, I, I met this church that I was going during holiday with my parents and, you know, not my parents, which parent, with my, my siblings. So I became a little serious with that church and that's when in the course of that year after school, I just got born again and got stuck with the youth of that church the keshas that used to be there. I just got drowned in the things of church again, just like you. Is there a function in church? I'm there. Is there a miracle service? I'm singing the praise and worship team. Is there uh, something that is happening with the youth? We are going. Are we going for a hike? I just completely got lost in church. And I think that's how me, I usually say, God grabbed me from the world. Because again, also, I had very worldly f uh, friends. So I was just snatched completely and church again helped yes so hiding in church is never a mistake yeah uh, and then we were, when we met we, we we maintained our spiritual life yeah 
I remember most of our dates, we didn't have money to go anywhere. We used to go to Catalonia. See, si, si, he has accepted. No, we used to go to Catalonia because <laughs> we were, wanted to be more spiritual. <laughs> Not that we didn't have money. I had money. <laughs> uh, was that I living? You are living. From Nairobi to Catalonia. Why are you going by, by, by foot? You are doing very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were, we were <laughs> our, our, our dating places. <laughs> Catalonia. We Catalonia. Three days Goliba, prayer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What are you? That's what, that's how we dated, by the way, for sure. Yeah. Then he, we were we used to meet, and he asks me for the scriptures I've memorized. You know him; he was a manual. The Bible in him was just talking. So I used to get challenged until I have to cram up to prove that uh, to learn me some Bible and Meshika. You, you, what kind of dating was that really? But it was it, it helped. It was a Holy Ghost one. Yeah, and and we used to meet and pray. We used to, he taught me how to pray. He taught me how to fast. I used to go to Catalonia and we pray three days prayer and fasting dry. And she and then she she vomit nothing. Yeah, yeah, I was feeling as if I'm. And then dead. she was tiny. Yeah, and you can imagine tiny and you're still fasting and praying. And then imagine if you're that tiny and you you had not gotten saved <laughs> and you're still in the world. You have been carried. <laughs> you have become a snack. <laughs> but that's how she, we overcome our youthful time. Yeah. Number six. I think we have answered her well. Yes. So what you need to do, just hide in God. Belinda is asking, uh, saying we didn't go to, to the movies. I do go and do. Belinda, she could say my view. You know what I'm saying, my view. She could say my view. She said, I love how you, you, you are friends with mm. each other. She's my accomplice. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. We believe you're getting blessed. I Let know. us know if you're this. Uh, the, um, today's topic is, is is getting into your spirit. You're mm -hmm. getting blessed, mm. and we will be able to see what we can do. Yeah. I can see so many, so many. Right. Um. Let's go to number six. Then, as we come to a conclusion. Yeah. Because of time. Mm -hmm. Uh. That is, mom. I'm a man of marriageable age. Mm -hmm. I love a lady who doesn't want to settle with me. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, another lady somewhere is giving herself to me. What do I do? Answer that because he's a man. He's of marriageable age. Yes. He and wants to get and, married. Yeah, and the lady he loves, I'm Taki, I'm Phil. I'm Phil. Right? And there's another one giving himself, herself to him. Let me say, let me say this. Mm -hmm. Young man, time is too precious to be wasted. Uya kiringa, acha ringe, move on. Yani unasema tu hivyo peuke? Yes, because you see, mm. if you're at a marriageable age mm. and you feel like you want to settle down, yeah. and the girl does not feel like settling down, mm. don't waste your time. That's true, That's that bit is true. Deal with your heart, mm -hmm. move from that, and get married. Yeah. If there's another lady and she's nice, you like her, mm -hmm. okay, g give yourself time, heal from this one, mm. then start moving on. Don't tie yourself to someone who is not interested. Yeah. Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two. Mm. Where am I una ringa ringa? Mm. Careful. Mm. Careful. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This kind of opportunity don't come twice. Yeah. What I would say to this man, don't take another man, another woman immediately. It will mm. be a rebound. Yeah. What you do, give it time. Mm -hmm. Just decide I'm done with this one. Mm -hmm. This year is going with that lady. I don't want any relationship with her anymore. Yeah. And then this other one who's interested mm. and you feel you can have something with her mm. and you feel you can give it a try, yeah. give it time. Mm -hmm. three, six months, three to six months. Mm -hmm. Start something fresh. Yeah. Give it six months again. If, if your heart is okay with mm. it, mm. get married. Mm. Yes. And move on. And move on. Okay, for me, I agree also. Don't waste time with someone who is not there. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they could be destiny wasters. And you don't want destiny wasters in anyone's life. Destiny so, wasters. Yeah, the one that you're, you're pursuing and they are not feeling you and they are wasting your time. I think for me, as, as Papa has said, just let them go. I think their they, eyes will open it. Yeah, and that was the first question I think we dealt with. The mm -hmm. first question there. No, I think the one for choices. Mm. And the choices are haunting or something of the sort. Such kind of a question. So what, what Papa has said, I repeat it again also, don't waste time if you feel you're of marriageable age, is the high time you settle in marriage. This one who is not yet ready, look I, for someone and move on. I don't understand what ladies are looking for. Mm -hmm. You will get one small man is, 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 is coming up in life. And bonus yeah. 
Really, once you get to 23, mm -hmm. mm. and let me talk to daughters here. Yeah. Once you have hit 23, mm -hmm. you'll get serious with life. Yeah. Especially on the issue of marriage. Mm. 23 is when the, the windows of marriage open. Right. I think I should treat that one day. Mm. The, windows we need of, to. the windows of marriage mm -hmm. for ladies yeah. opens from the age of 22, 23. Yeah. The window will remain open. Men will pursue, men will come. It will go until 26. Yeah. From 26, another window opens. The window of uh, uh, establishment. Mm -hmm. Look at the ladies who are driving to Otapa. So they are between 26, 27, 28. 30, 31. Mm. There's a different window in your life. There's a window of establishment and settling down. Mm -hmm. From there, another window opens up. Yeah. Okay? Mm. And this window is a, is a window of, uh, what do you call it? Gaining what? Wealth. Mm -hmm. Assets. Mm -hmm. No? Assets. Uh, sh shifting in career. Yeah. And you'll find most career ladies are between uh, 31 to 40. Mm. Now, if you don't take advantage of this, the next time the window of marriage opens is from 35. Yeah. From 35. Imagine. Look at many ladies who are married. Mm. If they miss it at that time, the next time it's going to hit them is between 32, 33, 34, 35. Iki mm. Kupita, Jesus is Lord. Mm. Now, you, you need to know how to play with all those ages yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. You need to. Because time also and your body also is, is running with time. Mm. Men at 50, they can still produce children. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Ladies at, at, at 50 might have a challenge. Mm -hmm. Unless by the grace of Unless God. Unless by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. So what do you need to do? You don't need to, you know, play too much. Mm. When that window is opening, take advantage. Mm. Yes. I think that's, that's the only way and the right way to follow. Yeah. I think that's the only way and the right way to follow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So number... Seven. Yeah. Then we're going to close the show today because um, of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> let me get two or three comments here. Uh, Belinda, okay. Uh, Irene Adiambo is saying, true, you should move on. Try give the other lady a chance and slowly you will learn to love her. Yeah. Sally, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I you saying all in all, let the issue be a prayer item for him. God will give him direction. Mm -hmm. Catalonia, please, after my own. <laughs> Amen. Tell us, you pole pole. Um, Irene saying destiny waste to catch fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. Belinda is saying, Daddy and our Pendazana, you make marriage look extremely beautiful. It, it is. is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to number. <clears throat> number seven. Number seven, is it? Yeah. Number seven. I'm sorry for that. Daddy, mom, I'm I'm dating a man who thinks our church is too much. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. And please, this one I would like to to my daughters. Yeah. Uh, answer this one. Um. <laughs> Belinda. Uh, who is here? Uh, who else is here? Katush. Mm. Uh. Who else is here? <clears throat> Pastor Sally. Uh, who else? Uh, Alicia. Mm. Um, who else is here? Esther. June. <clears throat> uh, I want to hear your answer to this one. He's mm -hmm. saying, Daddy, mom, I'm dating a man who thinks our church is too, too much. Too much. Mm -hmm. Doesn't, uh, uh, too much. Doesn't believe in tithing. Feels something. Um, some things. So, feels some things I do are controversial. Mm -hmm. And are really, and we are really going are we really going somewhere somewhere like this? Do not say ma is where dad so what to go extreme you <laughs> quell in everything. <laughs> Top notch. Thank you, June. <laughs> I was on the question. Uh, this lady is saying she's dating a man. The man feels that mm -hmm. their church, church is too much. Nankama mm. uri mtu wetu. Uyu labda ni msoa. Uyu mshirika. Ni msoa. Ni msoa. Lazima ni msoa. Uyu ni msoa. 
she, she, she feels that the boyfriend feels that the, uh, the church is too extreme, too much. Too much. Mm -hmm. Uh, praise you could do, worship you could do, like it you could do. The thing, this issue of tithing, it doesn't and believe it. I don't believe in tithing. Mm -hmm. uh, he feels uh, that the lady is too much in charge. Yeah. Uh, they feel that we are a bit contro the church is a bit controversial. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question is, does she, do we think they're really heading anywhere? Mm -hmm. what, do, what is your thought? Uh, for me, I think... Eh? Anyone that uh, one does not respect where they have found you, any and they've already started removing marks. Mm -hmm. That kind of a person, first of all, eh, you should uh, hold your horses a little. Why? <laughs> For me, I believe, eh, get someone where they are, get to understand why they do what they are doing. Yes. And even, even you yourself as a person, because you love this girl, mm -hmm. that man, that, that is, eh, she, he loves this girl. Come in into that church, sit down, and get to realize if really these people are controversial. Could be you're judging them from the book, okay? Because from the cover. Because maybe they need your own church where the white man is going. It's very boring. It's very dead. Yeah. So at the end of the day, and and also again. Uh, also uh, at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. And at the end of the day, yeah, you could be judging from. Like, like there's a day eh, we spoke to a certain couple and that couple confessed and said that one of, of them, the man, didn't know the importance of tithing. You remember that day? Yes. Didn't remember, the, didn't know the importance of tithing. And so when, when that man came, joined in SOA, joined the, the church SOA, mm -hmm. she, he, he became slowly, slowly by slowly started realizing the importance of tithing. So this man again could be judging yeah. You know, from the cover. Destiny, and, testimony killer. Yeah, the destiny spoiler. <laughs> uh, member destroyer. <laughs> member killer. <laughs> member poacher. <laughs> you try to poach the member to the other side. Yeah, which is which is not okay. Right? So for me, I'd advise that man. Eh? Mm. Get to know why this lady and the church do what they do. By first of all, even you coming. Probably, if at all is not sore, could be this lady needs to be helped out of another church that is creepy. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, so at the end of the day, <clears throat> go there. Go two Sundays, go three Sundays, just go and sit and judge by, you know, by, by sitting down and, and feeling the oil. The Holy Ghost will open your eyes. Yeah. Maybe you'll get to realize, ah, and this place is not as bad as I thought I after thought, all. Yeah, it's okay? really what a problem. Yeah, but for the lady, I, I, I want her to open her eyes. This could be someone whom has been sent by okay, the devil by the devil to disconnect her from her place of grace. Of, of grace. Be very careful. Faith Makai saying he doesn't pay tight at Yoko Vizuri. Uh -huh. And then uh, Alicia is saying it's true. They say so, Papa. Mwingina ni alisema ni kama wanaishi church. Alicia Burania. It's true they say so, Papa. Mwingina ni alisema ni kama wanaishi church. Oh yeah, kia u. Pole. The services are, are so many. Uh -huh. <laughs> are too much and the prayers were. <laughs> <laughs> Aki, it is well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those prayers uh, are keeping us. Those uh, prayers. Uh, we will, we will reduce one. Mm, reduce you will dream in the village. <laughs> Once or twice, and then you will find yourself physically there. I want to say, yeah. Hi, mom and dad. Uyo mwana ume, akami prophecy first. Mm. Then settlement alafu, mm. atajua what we mean by sound of abundance. Mm. Ken, touch. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. As somebody is saying. That's the advice from Ken. Mm -hmm. Alicia is saying, no, ma'am, it's not me. Okay. But Atta, Atta to join soon. Mm. But I'm there to join. Yeah. Um, somebody is saying what? I didn't say, if it's so, mm -hmm. first has the guy attended? <laughs> has the guy attended? Has, has he attended the church? Mm -hmm. Or he watches online? Mm -hmm. If he hasn't, let him visit and experience. That's the first thing. And then let, let him comment. Let his comment come in later. That's it. And I know you surely experience the hand of God. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, me, I think I think that's the truth. Now, oi, as well as this Mingini, when is it Thursday and Friday? Aki. Na Sunday. Yeah. My take is this. <laughs> Anyone that feels you're too much in charge, mm. they're spiritually cold. That, that very exceedingly And true. they don't have a walk with God. Mm -hmm. And 
it's, 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 a, it's a danger sign. It's a that's, danger that's it. sign for you yeah. to date somebody mm -hmm. who feels you're too much in church. Mm. That person will make you too much weak. It, it, it will drop you, especially yeah. if you're a woman mm. and you're, you're dating a man who feels you're too much in church. Mm. That person will make sure you backslide. Kabisa. So you need somebody who at least can agree with you, mm. the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Fine. Um, if he's born again, uh, our, 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 our churches are different. Mm -hmm. Our graces are different. Yeah. How God works with different people, works with them differently. Right. But at the end of the day is, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to, they don't have to tell you, comment negative about your church. Mm. How is their personal spiritual work, work with God? Mm. If somebody is well connected to the Holy Spirit, yeah. they cannot have an issue. With, with you being in church. They cannot. Mm. Two, they will be happy that my wife to is be. a church girl. Yeah. Number two, mm -hmm. uh, he will even be, he'll want it to be more hotter. Yeah. Like, I, uh, 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 like me, why I, I could take mom for Catalonia, I wanted to become more spiritual. Yeah. Why was I asking her for more scripture? Mm -hmm. I wanted to, 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 to see if she's, I work with God is becoming more it's boring. Mm. So if she was asked, telling me, oh, you're always in church, so the data sign, she could have made me backslide. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's for me, mm -hmm. run. 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 If you may. You, you need to run. Or maybe give him a chance if he doesn't stop with his weird comments, then now okay. walk out. So, but apart from that, we love all of you. We appreciate God for you. We believe that marriage is good. Marriage, what? If only, if only you want, you want to pray with that we see. How do you get blessed? How do you, what these things we are teaching, how does it come into your life mm -hmm. and it starts showing? Yeah. One of the things is, don't, but Bible says, don't only be hearers of the word, but, but also be doers, doers of the word. Mm -hmm. You see? So what you hear mm -hmm. is not as important as what you do. Right. When you hear something and you do it, it means you caught it well. That's it. And it's, it, it's with you. Mm. And number two, you connect with the word. Mm. And all those who are single, who are believing God that you're going to get married. Mm. And you're watching us, whichever platform you're using, mm. we'd like you to be a blessing to this program. Mm -hmm specifically this thing called marriage yeah. on our Sower TV. Mm -hmm. And wherever you are, we want to pray with you. Well, I'm still believing God mm. that somebody will get someone mm. and uh, God is able to do that for you. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is I want, it's time for us to give our offerings and connect with today's service. Right. Just say I want to be a blessing and I've been blessed and I want to connect to be more blessed. Mm. And so I want you to go to our pay bill. Go to pay bill 4040519. Mm -hmm. And the account name is SOA. This is exactly supporting this thing called marriage right. on SOA TV. Mm -hmm. Again, go to just use the pay bill. Just yeah. go to the pay bill. Yeah. As you do that, we are going to pray. Uh, this beautiful girl with me, mm -hmm. we are going to pray. Believe God mm. that things are going to become very, very nice for you. Yeah. As you do that, if you're not married, it's a time for you to connect. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to, you know. To connect with grace mm. and say i want to sow my seed i want mm. to give my offering mm -hmm. i'm believing god that my marriage will be better mm. i want to believe god that my home will be better mm -hmm. i want to believe god that i'm going to get married mm. this year i've been believing god i know it will not end like that mm. so why don't you go to your phone right now go to mpesa go to pay bill and then put uh, the pay bill number is four zero four zero five one nine and the account name is soa tv SOA TV, mm -hmm. and then send it there directly, and the Lord will bless you. Let's say a word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree for all the people who have been watching. Yes, Lord. In the name of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, from every platform, yes, Lord. we ask for blessing. Yes, Daddy. We ask for grace. Amen. Those who are single, yes. believing you for marriage, yes, Lord. I decree and I declare, yes, Lord. open doors for them. In the name Marital of Jesus. Marital settlement. In the name of in the Jesus. Name of Jesus yes, Lord. There are doors open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Father, Jesus. Father, let your favor come upon them. Yes. Open doors they have never seen before. Amen. I decree and I declare, mm. your God who blesses people. Yes. In Psalms 113 mm. verse 19, mm. you establish women in houses. Mm. I decree and I declare Yes. in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. the Lord you will settle your children. Amen. Every one of them believing you for marriage. Yes. Lord. Father, bring them into marriage. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Time to cast your offering, cast your seed. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and, and the, the love, love of God, God and, and the, the fellowship, fellowship of the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. We believe that marriage is good. Marriage works. If only. If only you work it. And as we leave you, we always say, as, as long, long as, as you're not dead, dead, there is hope for, for your, your tomorrow. tomorrow.